Welcome to the Land Cave, where we're living as nerds. I'm Patrick, joined by Owen. We finally got a Switch Pro! Whoa. Just kidding. <laughs> this is as close as... I think this is as close as we're going to get to a Switch Pro for at least a year and a half, if a Switch Pro is even made. Um, I have my own feelings about that, whether or not they're accurate. Nintendo doesn't need it, but... Steam Deck is here. Uh, well, it's not here, it's announced. Um... You want to talk I mean, about that first? You want to talk about some Zelda first? Because well, I, I got, I got feelings on both. That's I got, where we're going. I, I got, I got feelings on both too. Let's, um, let's talk about the Steam Deck in a, in a in a bit. But I will say, very briefly, did you see Elgato had a, happened to have a, a release, a news release the same day? <laughs> and, and Switch OLED pre-orders went live well, the same day. Yeah, yeah. But do you know? That it's called the, a, it's called the stream deck the stream or the deck stream, which is stream, stream deck. deck which is what i it's the newer stream deck and they were like hey we're just gonna announce our thing did no one at elgato just say stop pause i don't care like just pause everything nobody cancel announced. the tweets wait cancel all the tweets just wait like a week <laughs> just wait a week ridiculous so i'm uh Thoughts and prayers to Elgato on that because that's a that's a that is a specific gaming community that you know the PC gaming community is big on on Elgato, big on stream uh, wear like that. So, um, anyways, we'll talk more about the Steam Deck Steam Deck in a bit. See how many times I can screw that up. So, you said you got some thoughts on uh, on Zelda. By the way, I got my Zelda Joy-Con up in here. I did not get my Zelda Joy Cons. I did get I my opened. Amiibo. Oh, which you I did? Yeah. Opened yet. Yeah. Uh, actually, let's grab the amiibo. Yeah. So just for, uh, while while just you're doing that, thing. they look pretty. I have not opened them, but um, oh. I mean, the box looks pretty. <sighs> See, that's I, I I need that. It's, it's a really good looking amiibo, dude. Yeah. Like, and I, I I'm so tempted to not take it out of the box just because, like. I want the display factor, and it's the first time I've ever considered not doing it. But like the detail that they put on the Loft Wing yeah. and Zelda, which, by the way, second best iteration of Zelda, probably maybe third. Okay, okay, third. So first, Breath of the Wild. First, I would say Wind Waker. Tetra okay. is definitely yeah. te Tetra is definitely the the BA. Yeah. Z I don't know. Oh dang! Now we're gonna. We're gonna need to do a Zelda ranking at some point, just because because Shike is up there too. Yeah, yeah. You say Shike, I say Sheik. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think I mean, of I I think of like German, and it's, okay, and that's probably why it's wrong because if you don't know with German, two vowels go walk, and the second does the talking. So whenever you have letters in German that are, are right next to each other, so E I, the mm -hmm. second one does the talking. So it would be I. Um, just a okay. little German rule if you're ever trying to yeah, read yeah. German words. Yeah. Um, I took that was literally I took German in high school three years with the Frau, and she said that phrase so many times, like it's burned into my my brain. That's why they do it, though. That's why they do it. It's repetition, repetition. The other, the other thing I want to show because I want to know: Are you playing? Are you playing Skyward with motion controls or with controller? Controller. Um, I am not that far, admittedly. I'm not that far in it. I've only put in about, I think, an hour and a half, two hours, uh -huh. uh, which which isn't that much. In, in a Zelda game, that's just, like, starting to, like, dip your toes in. Have you world. even left nope. Skyloft? Nope. Okay. I'm about to. <laughs> I mean, I'm about to, but... Have you um, even got your bird? Yeah. Yeah, so okay. I was, like... I was, so you just got your loft wing. I was, yeah, I was doing some exploring. Um, I, did, uh, I did some exploring, and... Uh, like I, I was just trying to test out some of the controls. I've it's been so long since I played it. I played it at launch, uh, and I didn't complete it. I didn't go back to it. So it's been so long since I played it that I was trying to see like what are there any hidden little things here and there, you know? That uh, so I played. I went a little bit longer than I could. I, I could have easily rushed through all that just to get out. Um, but I mean, I like what I've seen so far. But I need to probably put in another four or five hours before. Um, before I, I can kind of rate it because of the controls of the sword, I really need to play around with those and f see like how I feel about them in comparison to motion. I'm assuming you're not playing in motion, right? No, I, I'm gonna. I will try them out if I get the new Joy Cons, which is just like not if when mine are supposed to get here <laughs> Monday. I'm incredibly upset, by the way. So on launch day, 
I get links. I get three different links, three different company links to order the Zelda Joy-Cons. Finally get it on the second go with Nintendo.com. I shoot Patrick over the links, shoot him over immediately after I hit checkout. Uh, because that's just kind of the friend I am. Like I just, I, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna secure my purchase, yeah, uh, and then, and then I'll make sure that you secure your purchase. That's where karma got me, though. Apparently, because Patrick got his Joy Cons in today, and mine don't get here till Monday. But it's a stupid that's, thing that I yeah. wouldn't try the motion controls before I get the Zelda Joy Cons. But it's just a thing. Like I want to play the Zelda with the Zelda Joy Cons. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, honestly, I mean, honestly, I think they look pretty, but. I feel like they'd look even prettier on a Switch OLED. Like, I have no reason to get one, but Ooh. the lighter color for the... Mm. I mean, the lighter color, along with this blue, I think would look better. Not that it's going to look bad, and not that I was saying that I'm... Did you I'm order an OLED? I did not. Without telling me? Oh, okay. No, I didn't. But, I, try, no, I, I did was like, try. That would have been, like, the perfect time to be like, and... No, but... I, I can't justify it right now. I think it'd be something good for you, as a... You didn't get the Switch... 1.2 whatever you're gonna call it refresh yeah so the 1.5 whatever we're gonna call the switch oled which yeah. i think the switch oled looks great i think it's definitely for people who have o the og switch like that is a, a justifiable upgrade i'll put it that way so i did try and get one yeah. um be but I, I did not i was not successful i did get one into my cart and then was not able to check out so i got i got this close i'm not getting the neon one if anything i need the white and black that's, that's the only way it's going to go down but then i did yeah. find out after the fact and i'm kind of glad that the purchase didn't go through gamestop is offering 200 dollars for trade-in if you trade in a switch towards the switch oled so that became a lot more justifiable to upgrade my battery and screen for 150. Yeah. I'm way more interested in that. So I will be, when it does come out in October, I'll be walking into my, my local GameStop and I'll be like, hey, is there any way I can get on like some list or do I just need to call regularly? Because I will trade this guy in for 150. That's, that's, that's the price point that I'm willing to get in. Yeah. Well, also that that's tempting because you just think about this, like as long as you don't have a ton of wear and tear on yours, which like I traded my OG switch in for this and it was a similar trade swap, right? Where they were like, yeah. it's X amount, but they, they were like, uh, we need the, um, I think they needed the dock and, and you know, all of ba essentially they don't want to pay for extra cable. So they want the dock, they want an extra HDMI cable and all that. Right. Um, it was totally worth it. And if you think about, it, even if you don't have the external wear and tear, like the scrapes, You've got time on that hardware and swapping it out. That's like, I mean, that's kind of like trading in for a, you know, for a new car. It's like, okay, it did cost me a little bit yeah. more, but I don't have to worry about the right wear and tear. This thing is going to die quicker than the new one, obviously. So that's not bad. And, and the battery on this one is starting to, to I do have it here because I did want to show off this thing because I've been talking to Patrick and Robert about it. I... I don't. I've been wanting to play in handheld just because Zelda, a triple A Zelda in handheld. There's something about it. Like playing Breath of the Wild, I played so much of that game in handheld. So I wanted to do it again. But then my hands, dude, like I couldn't make it an hour without my hands hurting. So some friends told me about this. This is a Satisfy Zen Grip Pro that I got off Amazon for twenty seven dollars, and you just slide your switch in there and it acts a little bit similar or kind of similar to the joy con um grip thing where it adds it but it definitely is a little heftier but per like ever since then no hand cramps whatsoever my hands have yeah. not hurt at all um playing the uh playing with the zen grip so if you're looking for for that, I also did find some uh, third-party licensed Ergo controllers that apparently people like, but they don't have Rumble in them. So I went with the Zen Grip instead because even though the Rumble is not a huge deal, I like it because it's built into the controller, right? So yes. um, if you're looking for that and you have bigger adult hands like us, um, I can vouch for the product i have put now 10 hours into skyward sword i i love this game and i hate this game <laughs> i yeah there's so much good stuff about this game where i was discussing it with somebody online um 
where one lore the fact like the lore that they put in this game way better there's so like yeah. compared to normal zelda games we got a little bit of breath in the wild but the the lore and like the beginning of of the zelda timeline and everything um is great the uh the zelda in this game is cool the fact that zelda and link already know each other in this game is cool and i'm not going to spoil everything but I, you yeah. know i'm spoiling that bit of it just because it's a decade old game at this point um yeah i don't think the that's motion similar. controls yeah. dude i wish they had rebuilt it i i just wish they had rebuilt this game the motion control i've and it would have required a ground up remake because so many of the enemies are based off of yeah how the motion works but the camera dude i'm constantly pulling out my sword with the right stick because i am just i it's a two stick world dude like yeah. you, i i literally go to turn my camera and i just pull out the sword over and yeah. over and over again so it's i'm gonna try it on motion controls when i get my new joy cons to see if it feels any better i doubt it's gonna be like that much better but there's just certain things where i'm like trying to roll a bomb and mm-hmm. it doesn't roll i put the bomb back because i just pushed the wrong because it's just not intuitive at yeah. all um I know but that. you can I see the, that as well yeah yeah you, you can see the little bits though where you can see the, the beginnings of breath of the wild mm-hmm. like i i know that degradation isn't everybody's favorite thing but it adds a little bit of a challenge um mm-hmm. to to zelda you can see the thing where they started using the dash meter uh, mm-hmm. and the climbing meter and again Your those maybe those may yeah. not be like your favorite things in the world that that make zelda but i i like seeing the ideas at their foundation right to see where where it was that like you can tell that they were like making breath of the wild and they were like okay post-mortem on skyward sword what worked okay climbing running worked let's make climbing better cool let's do it let's add some weather on to it yeah yeah you can see that whiteboard session where they're like do's and don'ts like what did we learn here yeah um we're dropping a few frames by the way hopefully this clears up um but no i i agree i felt the same way when it came to right at the beginning when you first you know the classic wake up and trying to navigate around and i keep using the right stick because i want to reorient my camera um I don't want to do the, it's like, this is between Ocarina and, and a breath of the wild where you can't use the stick for that reason. You got to use the Z targeting. Um, I feel like they could have probably solved the sword, uh, and the motion controls in the classic. I mean, to me, it's, it's, it's old school, but the, um, doing a, a directional, uh, analog, uh command while doing attack so forward x down x being up down being and then and then you just have the inversion because some people prefer up being up and not, uh, up being down uh in invert i think that that would probably solve some of these uh those issues but um at the same time i mean i, I get the preservation idea maybe it's a separate mode uh it's sad that it's not there uh and to me i feel like that they did a lot of quality of life, but that did does show its age in this game. It's a two stick world, like you said. That other stick is not optional. We know what it does. Every gamer intuitively now knows what that second stick does. Left stick is I'm a copyright right that by the way. It's camera. a two stick world. It's a two stick world. Uh, and left stick's movement, right stick's camera. It's like you, you don't break that formula. Uh, the only time you break that formula is if you want to add some type of customization, which nintendo does not do, does not do but you know who does do or, customization what i was gonna say or you could add some thumb pads i thumb pads and that's what i was gonna say like customization and thumb pads and this if you if you were wanting more beefy powers if you were wanting that hand that all that power of in gaming in your hands obviously this is nowhere near as good as you know your 3080s and such so quick that this is about having the convenience of a pretty darn good looking uh gameplay really nice refresh rate um in a handheld mo uh mode a handheld uh it, i'm i was it's not that i wasn't sold on it i felt like i didn't need it and the more that i see the steam deck the more that i say you know what yeah i think i think i could see that in my life uh i think it could be about that um did you order it i have not i am i am considering however right now i know that's that's uh that's really rough but um between the switch which i don't play as much but 
I play a lot with the Razer Kishi now to be able to play whenever I want uh, playing Xbox or PlayStation with my phone and a little attachment, and it feels like a real, you know, big boy uh, 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 controller. This, I don't know if, again, if that would be better on my hands than the Switch, but the... I mean, the, the gameplay in it and the flexibility, because this is Steam we're talking about. So it is playing it, it is playing uh, the Steam OS, but because of Proton, it's able to run Windows-based games, even though they're not Steam-based, which means Game Pass games. Game mm. Pass. So, so it's like all my Xbox library is either with me on my phone or with me here. I mean, that's that's big. That's and big. You, and and you can get the Epic Games Launcher going too, dude. I, so you all can. those free if, games that you've been you I've know, been racking up for the past couple of years. So my my f- three hundred plus Steam games that I haven't touched, all my PC games, my Xbox games would all be at my fingertips should I so choose. Uh, there is a difference in regards to uh, hard drive uh, space on those. Uh, did you see? Which one did you uh, you pre-ordered yours? Didn't you? I did. Which, so which uh, one? I got the two fifty six NVMe uh, one, so I don't get the anti glare etched glass screen. I also don't get um, something else that it can, an exclusive virtual keyboard theme. So I don't get those things. Uh, I get a two fifty six gig NVMe. So the the base model, by the way, in terms of an indie machine, I think it's pretty sick at three ninety nine. Yeah. But um, it's EMMC, which I don't know enough about that type of storage to really comment on it. I'm getting mine apparently expected order availability Q one twenty twenty two. So I I spent three hours clicking on this thing, not consistently, but I would click on it, add it to cart try and come back make the purchase there was several times where it's like it it looks like you're making too many purchases (laughs) and i was like no steam i'm in fact not trying to make too many purchases i'm trying to make one purchase it Mm -hmm. continues to blow my mind that storefronts just can't handle the traffic i saw a breakdown of of numbers and i didn't write it down and i feel bad about that that i didn't but it was it was in like the tens of thousands or maybe yeah. even the hundreds of thousands. Like, I don't even think it's like pre-ordered a million units yet. And you're telling me like Steam, one of the oldest platforms of like all time, can't handle a little bit of traffic for pre-orders. Like, I just don't, I want to know who's going to solve that problem. Someone needs to solve it, but also like, I and I thought about this and I, I will admit, this is one of those shower thoughts. We all have them where you're, you're doing something like, mundane like just happen to be in the shower or like driving the car and then all of a sudden something pops in your brain i had this yeah. thought about it like what how, did did no one at steam did no one at valve think this is going to be a really big launch did they think that it was it was going to be kind of lukewarm did it I mean, so here's why i can see that being a problem by the way i will compliment their uh their anti scalper feature um, did you hear about this? I, I heard a little bit, but elaborate. So the anti-scalper feature in this case is that you had to have had a Steam account already. So that's one. Two, you had to, so the pre-orders were in July. You had to have made a purchase in June 2021 or prior. So you could oh, not okay. have a brand new Steam account, just make a you know a two cent game purchase or something and then scout the machine your account had to have at least made a purchase a month prior to the pre-order which i think is pretty pretty solid um but in turn what was the thing that we were going to talk about uh because i went off on this on the scalper thing well we, we were talking about uh well i was talking about like do we think that it, like they thought it was gonna be like a lukewarm like oh yeah like, release so- like the reason why I can say they did is because and a lot of people were, were having this, and I had this this chat with several people, and I kind of had a light bulb moment on it. So remember when we got all excited about the Steam box? 
Yeah. Like the Steam box was going to come out. Steam was like, all right, we're going to reveal the Steam box. It's going to be great. And then what do they do? They outsourced the hardware to different companies. I think Alienware had one. Yep. Um, I, I can't heard remember. There was good like, from what I from what from. Uh, yeah, I've heard it was fine, but then yeah. also Steam OS at the time was not good. So this is apparently a third generation custom Steam OS. But the thing about this one, Valve said, one, you can take this OS and you can make your own handheld Steam dick. Okay, they, they did put that out there. What is this? What are you doing? <laughs> What you're click you're clicking something that is just going into my ear. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Those were like Windows noises in my. <laughs> I apologize. It should it, like desktop sh- sounds should be muted. So I apologize. Okay. I was okay. I was like, uh, I was I was, cl- to- <laughs> I was clicking. Okay. While I while I was listening because you were talking about like the Steam thing, I was like, I need to recover my password because I can't like. So I was just like quick clicking the recover password thing. I you know it's funny because I couldn't hear it and you could so. <laughs> Uh, that's good. <laughs> the joy, so, the joys of weird audio routing. Uh, apologies for that. No, yeah. that's okay. So the yeah. thing that turned me on to this was that Valve said, "Okay, one, this software is open platform, so you can take it yeah. and put it on your own Steam handheld." But to proof of concept, this to start this out, we're going to make our own. So to me, that means since they didn't, unlike the Steam box that they outsourced to other companies yeah. off the bat this one they are launching with the concept piece so that tells me yeah. that they're going to support it they've they've had several articles obviously they could say that they won't but they've had several articles and several interviews in in the past few days where they said no that this is something we like we believe in this they, i think everybody's seen and i put it the npd numbers in later but mm-hmm. switch is still the best selling console uh, for the last, it's it's, uh, it's the last a huge amount. Months? What ten months? I think it's I, I think it's, it's longer. Probably, I think it's, it's probably way longer. It's several months. I, I, anyway, like I maybe in November they might have lost, but I still even doubt it that that they lost in November. But we're talking about the fat, the hottest console since 2017, and everybody. It just has shown how much people want this handheld thing. They want this thing that they can. And on the their fun- hands, but yeah. still play quality games. Like the, I, I think this is really a turning of the the tide on portable consoles. As yeah. as awesome as things like the Vita and the Game Boy and the DS were, they want AAA experiences in their well, hands. Yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, this this kind of this kind of thing kind of sold me on it as I as I try to like move this over a little bit you can see their USB C plugged in and there's a i think there's a power and then there's an out i don't know exactly there it looks like there's two ports on there but you see they've got it in a little in a little cradle mm-hmm. and then they got that hooked up they're base they're using it as a dock to play some games so, so i said you can use any third party dock they are developing their own um that you can dock to the tv but you can use any USB C standard laptop dock yeah. So not only do you Sick. have this 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 slick handheld, which 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 looks good. I don't. Th- okay. I I tried a Steam controller, uh, Christian. I'm sorry. He was raving about like how much he liked it. I didn't. I wasn't digging the the track pads. I think it'll help for certain games, but it depends mm-hmm. on the game. Like where you get. Kind I like of having the option. Mouse. I think that's cool. Yeah. It's cool to have the option. Um, I uh, the the sticks being being linear. I don't care about someone was complaining about that because they're used to Xbox. I'm sorry. As long as the sticks have a decent um, have a decent weight to them, I'm okay with that. Uh, but the it, I mean, it looks so. Sorry, where, where am I? Where am I? Um, so people were thinking like that the button placement and stuff seemed off. But I mean, like whenever I think about it, though, is like everybody wanted the sticks to be like a little bit lower but i'm like my hand that hurts cramped. my right my right hand hurts every I, time my left hand is kind of okay but my right hand dies a little bit playing this joy con i kid you not and this this throat is so weird but like i have i have this hand kind of like that and i always play with this hand like a little bit further down yeah so i'm using like this instead of yeah. now i don't have that big of hands but yeah, I, no, I, I think that, that I think that they studied like ergonomic hand placement, and I think they were like, "Well, your thumbs are at the top whenever that you're holding makes it. Sense. Why wouldn't Why wouldn't we put it? I it is kind of ugly, but whenever yeah. I look at it, 
you know, I like a little ugly. I'm the one that likes the look of the PS5. I, I'm like, this makes sense. And if people, the Ryan McCaffrey over at IGN did a did an FAQ and everything, and like if they think that it's not uncomfortable, I'm gonna believe. Yeah. Uh, a journalist of that caliber to say like, okay, they they got something here with with their placement. I feel like Valve probably has some kind of ergo doctor that was like no it should be up here like yeah no don't don't lower it it makes sense it makes sense for it to be that way no i i i like the extra I, buttons on the back too the i like the extra buttons i should have those yeah i should have put the uh, uh pictures of that i mean they're taking cues there they're taking cues from uh from the xbox pro controller and the other pro controllers that are on the market the third party stuff and they said everything like because it's steam all you can you can uh, remap any of the buttons on any of the games. Uh, there are certain games that aren't going to be able to be played uh, mm -hmm. on on Steam. That's, that's the un unfortunate part uh, in regards to that. So certain games, uh, Destiny, Apex, PUBG. Um, anti-cheat games. Yep, anti yep, it's because of the anti-cheat uh, software that's required for it. Um, I... While while that irritates me, I feel like the the people who are hardcore into those games. I mean, I, I'm I'm not saying they are, are not interested in this, but I feel like they would. I don't feel like I'd be playing a ranked game on this. Maybe I'm wrong. I mean, if it performs really well and maybe if it's docked, maybe I'm okay. Um, but I don't know. How, how do you feel? I get I get it from a technology standpoint, but do you think it's? I don't think it's gonna stop obviously them from selling more units or so i don't think that this is the machine for that type of game anyway yeah. i do I, I i think it probably is a little bit disappointing for something like destiny because destiny can be a pve yeah game i can see wanting to load that because i had a thought and i don't play it anymore but i dream about playing it again but uh, anybody who knows me knows i put quite a few hours into final fantasy 14 and final fantasy 14 has a fantastic controller layout. I played it in controller primarily um, when I played it on PlayStation, and I had this thought of playing FF14 handheld mode. I thought, oh man, like that just sounds so much fun, and I imagine that they probably have some kind of anti-cheat in there. So I can see that being a bummer, but whenever mm. I think of this type of machine, I think about playing all my humble bum humble bundle yep. games i think like because i you know again I, I i speak from like a p place of privilege but i own a series x already i own a playstation 5 already i own yeah. a switch already i have a lot of triple a machines yeah um even though switch is kind of falling by the wayside in terms of the triple a mechanism but it's at least my nintendo exclusive machine because that's what it's there for but there's also just a ton of other smaller games out there or cheaper games because PC games tend to be so cheap and that's what I personally am targeting this as. I don't think I would want to sit and try and play an Apex Legends on this thing. Like I, I just wouldn't. I would want that to be on a bigger screen but I do think that if it is popular, that if it does prove as a strong proof of concept and if steam os slash mm -hmm. proton uh is is and has improved and is improving as much as people say it is because that was the thing at work i work for a giant fruit company and there were people being very uh positive about where proton is at right now that's what convinced me to pull the trigger i was not going to do it necessarily i was kind of looking at it the night before and i was like i might do this and then all these nerds at work were like, dude, Proton's in a great place. Like, you're going to be able to play almost anything that you want to play yeah. uh, on this thing. So that's what that's what made me get into it. Uh, and just so we, we cover it, um, this thing has 16 gigs of RAM. For reference, the Switch has six. Uh, we argued, we not argued, we grumbled about that last week on how the Switch OLED uh, dev kit has eight that they won't give us access to. Yeah. Uh, so the, the Switch has six. This one has 16 gigs of RAM. I don't know what an AMD Zen 2 custom ZPU with eight threads means, but it, from what I read from some people, that's about a 2019 mm -hmm. chip, uh, mobile chip, uh, pretty solid. Uh, 
seven inch LCD, so it doesn't have that OLED, but I imagine that somebody's going to make an OLED version if this thing is successful. If it's, yeah. Um, can so display up to 720p, 60. Right, yeah. 60, hey, if, they, if, if it's powerful enough to actually get that 60, I'm okay with mm. 720 as a handheld. I'm okay with it's that. It's fine. Yeah. Because it, well, the thing is, is that what they said is that it can display with the dock. Mm -hmm. It can display, theoretically, up to 4K with the dock to the TV. The thing that we want the Switch to do, by the yep. way. Yep. I, there's going to be a lot of comparing this thing to the Switch. And whenever I get mine, yeah, I'm still... I, I have the five dollar pre order in. Uh, there's still a chance that I might pull it. I really hope some reviews come out before they charge my credit card, because um, <laughs> I would like to just get some more. Like I trust the people that I've read, but I would like to yeah. get some more uh, opinions on it. And we mentioned that it runs on Steam OS, which is it's on Linux. It's using a thing called Proton, which uh, somehow converts all that stuff. From what I've read, you can go to Proton's site. And you can, uh, this is the cool thing that everybody should do if they're even interested in this at all, is you can go to the site and start plugging in games that you think that you would want to play okay. on this thing. And they have ratings. So there's like a gold rating, silver rating, basically like this should run just fine. This probably is going to run good. And then like, sorry, this ain't going to run. Yeah. Like things like that. And from what they are saying, they said, I think, like 60 or 70 percent of the Steam library should be able to theoretically run on this. And yeah. so I think that anything small, anything again, your humble bundle stuff for those people who like go and do the thing during charity runs and are like, I got a 6000 Steam games yeah. through humble <laughs> bundle. That's what I'm planning on using yeah. it for. And those those instances where those indie darlings that come along that you're like man why isn't this on switch well it's on steam and now it's on my steam deck yep yep no i think i i agree i think there's a lot of games that that would work well with it like you like you said this is for um yeah this isn't for those high powered like i'm not gonna play or attempt to play like cyberpunk on, on something like this even if i did i would expect the like lower it better settings. runs better uh, <laughs> if it ran well better runs this, like, better runs better than it does on ps4 i mean <laughs> I, I i've got a i got a, a buddy of mine uh near here who like uh he played and he really liked cyberpunk he played it at launch but he played it on a mid-range uh like gaming pc i say mid-range he's like a, he's got a 2070 ti so he's mm. he's that's a decent card um and uh yeah he was like no i haven't had any problems it's really great uh but yeah i shouldn't have put that on ps4 it probably will run better on here but i i expect it for a lot of the games that they're playing i think would lean would it would lean very well into Hades is going to be great on this. Um, I'm still, I'm really looking forward to Diablo 2, and I guarantee I'm going to be playing a lot of Diablo 2 on a handheld, and I plan on that probably being my phone with a Razer Kishi right now. However, this is appealing. This would look a lot better, maybe a little bit, even a little bit more ergonomic. Uh, but being able to dock like that and play, to have that flexibility to be able to do that, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I um, I don't know. Everything about this thing just kind of excites me. It, you know, I made the joke at the top of the show. We got our Switch Pro, like, and that's yeah, you know, that was the easy joke. Like Nintendo or Steam reveals the Switch Pro, and yeah. <laughs> I think that that's honestly pretty accurate so far. As long as it as long as it puts its money where its mouth is, I do think it's a little pricey for some people. The the slide on there is showing Canadian dollars right now, yeah, so right. It, it is it's uh. It's three ninety nine, five twenty nine, and six something yeah. for the the biggest one. The thing that I, I did had to let some people know that you cannot change out the internal hard drive. You can. It does have an SD card slot for um, expanding memory that way, which honestly I don't think is a huge deal for a lot of games. I think if you wanted yeah. to play anything AAA, you're going to want that running on your internal hard drive but you know almost all of my nintendo switch games are running off of a fast sd card and it works just fine so i'm going to probably put at least the size of my internal hard drive and i'm going to stick anything that is remotely indie style and i'm going to play that off the sd card and i'm going to yeah. play anything that's you know double a or higher i'm going to put that on the internal 
256. So you cannot change these. These specs are the, are the built in. And it's exciting. You know, we we love new toys on this show. We, you know, yeah. we're, we're talking to the people who bought Stadia controllers <laughs> like idiots. So, you know, you're going to we're going to let you know, uh, you know, uh, if if it ends up bombing or if it ends up being really cool. I'm hoping for cool because that's just the kind of show we are. We, we generally do like to, to believe yeah. in stuff around I'm, here. And I, I, yeah. I want to believe because Valve put their name on it. This isn't like, hey, here's SteamOS. We put we allowed people to put it on a Steam box. They're saying, here's SteamOS. You can put it on yeah. a thing. But here's our own because we believe in it that much. I, I like that kind of thing where they're saying we are we are willing to put r&d dollars in it yeah yeah it, i think it shows it shows that this is not for them let's be honest they're looking at nintendo not just selling co- consistently selling with the switch and they can put out a different iteration of of the uh of the steam deck i mean they could put out a different iteration every year where it's just a little bit better a little bit better um they did say those like you said the hard drives that's what you get you got you got a 256 that's what you got like or for 512 or whatever um that's that's the installed it does have an sd card and they did say that the uh the uh hard the nvme ssds are not intended for replacement was the uh, response when they were when they said can you swap them which i think that means we don't want you to do it but if something's wrong with it that they may have a warranty or something it's not intended for it uh but um i'm i'm big on right to repair where you know if the hardware goes bad and they're not going to break they're not going to fix it it's out of warranty i don't think there should be any problem with someone else who says okay well i know how to repair it i'll i'll see you know if it's if it's old and it's out of warranty if it's out of for these things like if they're over two years old I mean, you've got that much wear and tear, so um, yeah, I, I'm big on that. But um, I mean, like I said, I'm leaning more into it than I thought I was when I first saw it. I was like, I don't know if it's for me, but like I said, I've been playing a lot that way, and I, I'm I'm about convenience. I love I love sitting down, uh, you know, and playing on like the big screen and really enjoying that experience, really enjoying that fidelity, but convenience really really wins out a lot of times where you don't you can't always commandeer the tv you uh you may be uh, you know out doing something i'm not one to say hey i'm playing all night i'm playing this game all night you know you gotta compromise so sometimes it's we're gonna watch netflix i'm gonna play a little bit on my game here (laughs) so so here's the thing uh i've been bashing my switch a lot since november i know patrick has a little bit too uh, he's mentioned he's been playing on the Kishi, which has kind of been his his pass. And I and I did buy the Backbone, and I just I just admittedly haven't been using it as much. But I I picked up Skyward Sword, and the wife's like, "Hey, you want to come watch TV?" And I was like, "Well," and she's like, "I know you're not gonna actually watch. I just want you next to me." Yeah. yeah. And so bring the Switch, and I'm playing Zelda like that. That's brought me back to, you know, one of the the nice things about that handheld experience is that even if, you know, even if it's not about commandeering or not commandeering the TV, like it allows that that spousal closeness to to exist is that, you know, I'm there. We can talk occasionally. She might start talking to me. And, you know, the, the thing about that I love about consoles and the switch, especially you can you can hit the power button and that's a pause and it's like deal. you yeah. it, and that it's it's saved yeah. for you right there you talk for a few minutes and you go back you press power button you go back to playing yeah i don't know that that's going to bring me back into playing more on the switch when i don't know the next thing comes out kenna comes out on ps5 and i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna go back to playing kenna but yeah it does make me recognize hey maybe i should be looking for more of the smaller experiences instead of buying them on sony or xbox just because they do exist there maybe i should think about buying them on the switch just because hey my wife is like i just want you to sit next to me yeah. and and depending that's, on the game some that's of them something will to run consider fine. yeah depending on the game yeah. some of them will run fine it's no big deal um do you play your docked much anymore i have played that, less docked than i used to that's how i was playing it like we would play pokemon snap with the kid awake that's pretty much the only video that's game right. he's ever yeah. seen is pokemon snap i wanted to show him 
some Zelda, but the second that I picked up the Switch, and he was like, I want to play Pokemon. And so the only thing that I've played is is Pokemon yeah. uh, uh, docked lately. We did play a little Mario Golf uh, docked as oh, you well. Did pick but that up. Okay. Yeah. She said she wanted to play it. We played it for a few hours. It, it was definitely something where I was like, I should have just not. But every time that she's remotely interested in a game i Same. i always i always <laughs> buy it so but skyward sword has been 100 percent handheld because there's just there's just something man there's something about playing triple a zelda yeah. just laying in bed screen right there like something where it just makes sense i don't know yeah. what it is and so that's another reason we're after playing this yeah, it, I'm gonna take a shot at that OLED trade in at yeah. some point, and because I I can just after playing on an OLED Vita, yeah, which was ahead of its time, the uh, the screen's there. I I don't know. Yeah, it's weird. I I feel like all this is cyclical, dude. Like you know, I'm just my PlayStation Five so awesome, my Xbox Series X so awesome, but yeah. there's just something about sitting in bed with a Switch. <laughs> it's true. That's true. Uh, no, I. It's convenient, and that's you know, life. You you, you gotta you gotta bend with the you know you gotta bend with the wind. You 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 can be like water, as as Bruce Lee would say. It's it's important to to do that where, you know, you still get enjoyment wherever you are, and you're not uh, you know. I think I think it adds to it. Yeah, a lot of this is out of privilege. Speaking of privilege, I'm gonna say this really briefly though. I got a new TV, and yeah. it was delivered today tell me about your harrowing tv experience i'll be i'll be brief about it they by the way i'm gonna I'm you know i'm just throwing the trailer up this is the sony oled because it's the other bit it's an oled it's beautiful it's amazing um they were supposed to deliver friday uh it was all scratched is it a sony it's a sony it's a okay. sony i was it was between an lg and a sony and i loved i'd love the sony oh, yeah i would have got the drive uh, too yeah, it's Bravia. Uh, it's it's one step below their like their uh, what is it? It's the A. This is the A eighty J, not the A ninety J. The A ninety J is like a thousand dollars more, and the picture I don't think is that much better. It's slightly better, um, but I'm not going to pay a thousand dollars for slightly better. Um, How big is this it's thing? A sixty five inches. So Ooh. it's it's the same. I went from it's I did go. I went from I will say I went from sixty five to sixty five. I sold my okay. my previous TV, but the the clarity, the HDR, everything in this is just fantastic. Um, Best Buy did a great job, uh, not only in the salesmanship part, but also salvaging it when a third party person who is installing it they they brought it into the home, opened it up, and they were like, "Hey, this is scratched. We need to reschedule." It's a third party person. We scheduled it with Best Buy, and then the third party went into this into the system for Best Buy and said installed, meaning the TV's installed and the customer's happy, which knocked out my uh, reservation. So I had to fight to get it at an appropriate, reasonable amount of time because I was given dates of like July 31st or August 4th. Uh, so we're talking like it was like two and a half to three weeks later. Again, place of privilege, first world problems, but. Uh, it was delivered uh, this morning. I did some basic uh, setup on it and played some Mandalorian. I played some played some Marvel stuff. I wanted to kind of you know play play something that would really wow. And it's it's really it's really nice. And if, if you've already got a an HDR TV, um, yeah, I'm not saying you have to upgrade or anything like that. But the big reason was the HDR in this is better. It's a little bit brighter. Uh, and the, uh, I, sh I say brighter, the, the HDR range and clarity is better, but this one does HDMI 2.1. So I can game in 4K 120 if the game can support it. So I'm going to be trying that this week. I have not done it yet, but I'm looking, I'm going to look up the list of games that, uh, PlayStation and Xbox support in 4K 120 and see how that is. Cause I've not played in a hundred and 120 before. According to ratings.com, your TV is the best OLED TV for movies. I love me some movies too. I didn't realize it was the best best for movies. Um, so the, the settings are. Really I don't know if you ever do ratings. Ratings. I, I love do. ratings. RTING, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, nine point four for movies, nine point one for video games. That's it's for those and, who don't like. That may not sound perfect for anybody that's listening to the podcast, but for ratings, like if you're getting nine, you're yeah. doing great. They scrutinize the heck out of them, and the, the so if the, if if you're looking online, uh, it does say something in there saying that it doesn't have VRR, doesn't have variable refresh rate. It is coming with a firmware update, so I'm just waiting at some point What's, in the near future. How many future. hertz is it? Uh, so what is that? So 120? Oh, noise! Like it's it's like legit 120 frame rate. Like I'm, uh, wow. yeah, it's it's amazing. 4K 120 signal, dude. You better play. Get some Game Pass games on there and tell me how that's, they look. Like that way you don't have to pay for them. But like, give I, that's me, what I'm doing. Go, yeah, I'm not going on a buying go stream. I'm literally going to look at like what's on Game Pass. That's 4K 120. Go get like Ori and the Will of the Wisps for yes. sure. Um, yep. Give me. I need. I need a 4K 120 talk. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll just talk to, about just it to cause... brag to me. I'm not. I'm not going to have one anytime soon. But I oh, want to yeah, hear. Yeah. But I want to live. Want to live vicariously. <laughs> and this is something like this is something that a lot of people like. I I know that's an for for a console gamers. 120. This is like. Uh, this is pretty new to console gaming. Uh, if you're a PC gamer, you know you're talking 120, 144 at this point. Um, I'm I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I d- I mean the the sound, the picture, everything is great. I am curious how how good this looks. I keep hearing I mean I keep hearing great things about it. And this is coming from a guy who who I guess was four years ago or so. I was saying I don't need 60 frames. I don't. And now that I've been playing PlayStation. <laughs> Excuse me. Now that I've been playing Series X, PlayStation Five, some stuff, I can't go to thirties. Tough at sometimes. The the compliment, another compliment to Skyward, dude. Skyward Sword, one twenty feels better than Breath of the Wild thirty. Like in, in terms of the, just how reactive things are. Like yeah. it doesn't feel better in terms of the controls and everything because Breath of the Wild blows it out of the water. But how fluid stuff yeah. is because Skyward is running at sixty. <sighs> I'm it's, such a snob uh, now. I went from I went from no snob to snob in the course yep. of five months, six months. Yeah, but it's <laughs> it is. I mean, there's the frames do matter. Um, I mean, there's a reason people like say frame frames win games. Like that, it it does help. It does help the clarity. Um, it helps your reaction time. Um, I will say, while talking about that, though, uh, when I went through the basic setup and stuff, I turned off all the uh, the automatic uh, adjustments for blah, blah, blah motion, turned everything off on that. Um, uh, the only ones I'm going to dial in, I think there's like a Cinemotion thing that's supposed to help for like movie content. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm all about like making it look like the content creator wanted um and this is closer yeah the, the ratings on it are really good it was between this or the lg c1 i think lg c1 g one's like the, the even bigger one um and funny enough they have the same panel like the actual panel is exactly the same for the lg and the and the uh, sony um and the other aspect of this because also the may have factored into well no ratings.com wouldn't test this uh bravi has a, a lossless uh, streaming 4k hdr streaming uh uncompressed where disney is compressed and others are compressed so i'm gonna try so that you know the c1 was rated as the quote-unquote best but they have the same the average of 8.8 i yes yeah, so there's that's, a couple things that i guess that the lg does better yeah but it's not big enough and Let's see, nine point one on video games, nine point two on video games. But you have a better movies, and you guys are movie people. I so love, yeah, I love me some movies, and I think that's also that's before they tested variable refresh rate. Just variable... Not to justify your your decision or oh, anything, yeah, yeah. but but that's also before they tested VRR because VRR wasn't available for them. It's not available for me. When that comes out, the TV is going to be even better. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm excited. I'll let you know. How it and is. also just to help you out, I just sent you an article that has all the 120 games on Xbox Series X. Sweet, sweet. Because like that was like I'm gonna look look through there and go, okay, well, what's gonna play well, what's not. This is there is a downside, by the way, on this that I uh, that I also mentioned. This does only have two HDMI 2.1 inputs, if Ooh. that matters. Um, that handles my Xbox and my PlayStation. However, one of them is eARC. So if you're concerned with eARC and all that then uh, uh meaning that uh, I have, my switch is plugged into my arc boards <laughs> okay you're good then 
<laughs> I don't. Have, I don't have as fancy of a TV as you. I only have one HDR port yeah. on mine, and then I have two regular HDMI's. Yeah. So the switch is plugged into my Arc mm-hmm. port, just be you know because I don't have that that sound system anyway. So it's yeah. not anything that I, that I have to worry about. Yeah, it, does, it doesn't matter. What I meant was like the Arc port. I feel like Arc should have been on one of the other ports. Because it takes yeah. up what's also a 4K port, um, but I mean, I, I I absolutely love it so far. I'll let everyone know how it is moving into the four, into the 120 world. Obviously, um, look out for his future video series too. You're talking about doing some uh, some videos about optimizing. I know that I know that uh, PlayStation specifically has some settings that you need to look into. Um, a buddy of mine uh played demon souls on ps5 and apparently like it just looked all messed up and it required some changes in playstation which i think you are already aware of um yeah, see, that... if you know let me send them to me i'll, I'll review uh i may or may not know about them um yeah but yeah there's the 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 rate uh it's not a lot of the um a lot of the terminology that's used isn't clear both in xbox and sony because they have completely different Xbox is a little bit more like upfront about what what you're changing, but they're using like industry terms that you may not understand, like 422, enable 422. Should I enable yeah. that? Uh, where Sony's like, you want to change your your 4K bit rate? And people are like, minus one, minus two, what is that? So there's there's granularity in there that I'm gonna I'm gonna go in and talk talk about. Um, and and things that if you have it, great. If you don't that's fine, but here's the way to kind of dial it in for your for your uh, uh, for your TV. Um, I'm gonna play some Demon Souls. That's one thing I'm I'm gonna test on it. Apparently, um, this one was simple. That if you have the PS5's colors mm-hmm. set to the RGB set to auto, okay, that it could mess up depending on like your monitor or your your computer or or your TV or whatever. So maybe change it to full. Yeah, so the so there's um, there's also like limited versus full depending on what your yeah. TV knows, what your what your receiver understands. I'll definitely go into that because people like when I first got an HD TV like back in the day, uh, w- with a it was a PS3 and a and a, a 1080 um, uh, 1080 Sony Bravia actually, and I was like, yeah, I want full color, and I didn't know that the PS3 didn't PS3 did a limited band, not full. I had no idea. I just thought that just meant it was more. So, yeah, there's a lot of confusing things on there. I'll do some videos talking about that uh, and talking about like ways to get the most out of your system. And like I said, I'm all about making sure it's what the creator wanted. So if your TV can can get it close to what those artists who are you know who are drawing these characters and creating these models, um, it's what it's the way they saw it. That's the way I want to see it. I want to see it as close as I can to that. Um, there's some things you can do to to juice your TV, as I like to like to say that smoothness, like maybe it helps. Uh, or there's um, like live color is a setting on mine and it's basically looking at the frame saying how can i make the color look better so the tv's interpreting every frame and saying how do i make this pop which you may like i don't i don't want that like i don't want it to purposely look overblown everywhere speaking of like creator's intent i didn't put this on the the article or on on our doc that that we share and i don't know how much we want to talk about the rest of the stuff i am a little bit interested in it in the netflix thing but the have you have you seen any of this stuff on psychonauts 2 on the how you can uh, make the game really easy but no. still get like the achievements i think it was. i have not i mean uh so, I love so, Psycho- I love the first Psychonauts, by the way. So every once in a while, like the not every once in a while, I feel like it's like every six months or or so that you get an article or something talking about the accessibility in games. You know, a lot of times it comes around Souls games or Souls like games. So you know, Demon Souls, uh, Sekiro, mm-hmm. uh, uh, Returnal. Um, things like that, and the apparently they added some things to to make Psychonauts two, where you can have a invincibility mode, so that you can just play the game, be invincible, and it doesn't disable achievements. And that bothered some people. And 
I'm just saying, why do you care? Like, I understand. I get why you care, I guess, because they're like, it cheapens the achievement. And at the same time, I'm like, do you, I know that there's communities surrounded by achievements and everything, but like, is somebody, you know, you may feel completely differently about this, but is somebody just like whipping out their achievements and being like, dude, I got that. 0.2% like I don't know maybe it's just because I'm not very achievement oriented I'm proud of a couple platinums not because they were hard but just because I took the time to get them like I got the Final Fantasy 15 platinum it took yeah. me like 75 hours but I got it and I like that I got yeah. that platinum because well, I, I enjoyed yeah. that game I pl- I mean I historically have not cared at all about trophies which if you look at my trophies like it's apparent um, but there are certain games now that I'm like you know what yeah I'm going to platinum that um, yeah. I platinum Demon Souls. Uh, I yeah. think that certain games, and that's a good one. Yeah, like uh, that. That's one that meant a lot to me. Um, I think that if you're getting a trophy, that trophy should mean something to you. The trophy is made is was given by the developers. They set the rules to get the trophy. Um, case in point, the, did you play the Deadpool game that came out on 360? And it's 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 pretty good. But like at the very beginning, you get like I think 200 achievements if you're on um, uh, Xbox. I can't remember what it is on PlayStation, but it just starts dinging, and he's joking about like, "Wait, I got a trophy for standing up." Like, but the developers put that in there, and they were like, "This is funny. It's Deadpool, right?" Um, but at the same time, like the developers made the rules, so I have to give that to them. And the, I feel like the developers making the rules and it meaning something to you is what matters most. The reason I side was I feel like an achievement should should be something to achieve. But to someone who this this may be not that psychonauts would be appropriate for like a, for like a kid, but someone who has um, uh, trouble or disabilities or just straight up anxiety or whatever it is about a game, and they're just saying, "I want to play, I want to enjoy the game." Um, I don't think there's necessarily a problem with that. I, I think that I, if they can enjoy the game, I think that's that's great. Um, Part of me, part of me, and being able to completely platinum the game. Part of me is like, I feel like that maybe a hard mode or whatever should be in there, but it's, not, it's up to the developers. But really, when it when it boils down to it, the trophies are for you. They're supposed to mean something to you. You can show them to people if you feel like it. But when I, when you and I've talked about trophies, none, neither one of us have been like, how many trophies do you have? It's yeah, I spent time. I platinumed Astro's Playroom, and I loved. I loved that game. And I and I used the guide to yeah. do it. That's the thing. Whenever I think about a lot of these achievement, I cheat. Yeah, I cheated. Hunters. I used the guide. <laughs> yeah, these achievement hunters that that would complain. Like, there's a lot of people that basically are like, you invinci- invincibility mode is fine, but yeah. it should disable achievements. And my answer is, who cares and why? So I know you care because you're the one that said it should disable achievements. Not you, but the royal you. Like, I know you care, but why do you care? Like, you know, it cheapens achievements. Achievements are fake. Yeah. There's something just built in by the dev. Have you seen some of the trophy lists that people do? They're atrocious. Yeah. Some of these trophy lists suck. Yeah. So bad. Any game that makes you replay a game twice for absolutely no reason, where there's no new added content, they're just like, you have to beat it on New Game Plus. Why do I have I, to do that? I the hate that. Thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and and I, 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 that's the reason I don't have the Miles Morales thing. People are like, you can skip all the cutscenes. I'm like, I don't care. Yeah. I don't want to play the same exact thing. Like, if there's certain challenge modes or something, like, I get that, but I don't want to play through the same exact story yeah. again, just because you want me to play on New Game Plus to get a one single trophy. Yeah like that that kind of thing is dumb to begin with and then i think that anybody complaining about that i'm like so that means you've never played a telltale game right i shouldn't i shouldn't go onto your profile and find a single telltale game i shouldn't find my name is mayo i shouldn't find any of those games on your profile because achievements are so important right yeah that's 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 what you're telling me (laughs) well and those i was gonna say that i was gonna actually bring up telltale on this because um that was my first platinum was a telltale game. I, I think they're but they're it's a great experience like the platinum the, the telltale games i love the telltale mm-hmm. games like to me i think that like that's this generation's sierra games for those like who played like the old oh, school yeah. pc games where it's like they were so good and the stories were so good and i and um 
I feel like tell like I will go back and replay some Telltale. I, I actually loaded up the two Batman Telltale games uh, on my because uh, I realized I've not played all Janky, of the but great. yeah I haven't played all of the 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 enemies within. Um, there's like the five chapters or whatever. I think I've only played like two or three. So yeah. like I loaded those up. Um, I like I like those games and. Also, that's another one where you're saying you have to, uh, you know, playing a game multiple times. Again, it's up to the developer. I feel like, I feel like for the major majority of, uh, I think that I should be able to play a game and platinum it with one playthrough. But I get, I get when it makes sense for the game, like uh, Mass Effect. You got to go Paragon the ending versus the Renegade ending. Like I understand that. Because it's not just saying, I want you to play the game again. It's saying, I want you to experience something different. And I again, creators, what they intend. Um, I don't think that that uh, this is a problem. Didn't Ori? I think Ori has a, has a similar mode, but Ori or another game. But it does disable the achievements or something. But yeah, there's there's several that do. Like that, the, thing, the, the end of the thing that I put on it is like, it's... The thing about you know friend software games, for example, everybody just in, anybody who's listening to the show knows I don't play a from game because they don't have a difficulty slider. If they added one, I will play one, even though I do have a deal with Patrick that the second that they patch Bloodborne, I will try it for a minimum of ten hours. That's that's what I guaranteed to happen. But otherwise, yeah. until then, I'm not playing a single from game because I don't want to because yeah. I, they're too hard for me. And the developers decided they don't want to make it easier for me. So fine, me yeah. and you, developer. That's cool. I'll go play something else. I I think the bottom line is let the dev do whatever they want. If they want their invincibility mode to give you their achievement, why do you care? Yeah. Why is it? Why do you care? We don't. We don't need gatekeeping <laughs> on that. And I and I say that as someone who plays all the Souls games, like we don't need gatekeeping. Like it's it's important for that experience to be important to that person. Uh, otherwise, that, that's why we're playing games. We're playing games to have an There's experience to enjoy. Uh, whatever There's it is. tens of thousands of games out there. If, yeah. if you disagree with the philosophy of this one game, okay, go play another game. Yeah. You yeah. know how often I drop games? Let's see what I'm up to so far <laughs> this year. I'm not counting. I don't count my job dropped games, but I also don't count my completed games, mm -hmm. as everybody knows. Let's go to Owen's 2021 list. Yeah. And Let's rack them up this year. 48 games so far this year. Skyward Sword coming in. I have completed less than half of them because I don't care because I move on. Yep. If I don't, if I don't like the game, I just move on. We but have I'm enough going them, on. Yeah, and like, <laughs> and and I and I, I I say this to someone who really liked the first Psychonauts game. I'm gonna I'm gonna play the second Psychonauts game, but I say, but is this a game that like the is this a game where that difficulty mattered to the game? I don't I don't I don't think that's like. It's not that's a thing. Also, like, is like everybody yeah. likes to just place this thing on. Like the difficulty matters to From Soft's games, and I'm like, I guess so, but that's only because the developer. Did, I don't even think the developer really talks about it. Does he? Does no. does Hideo? Does no. he? Talk, he just he just makes the game right, and he, he's just like, here's my game. He, he does he I mean, speak to the fact that he makes his games difficult? He on doesn't purpose? talk about yeah. That's a, he doesn't talk about that at all. Like he talks about like a, the you know the importance of like a challenge and like achievement of like like you overcome something and like how that's important not only to the meta of you playing but the game. But he doesn't say like. I'm going to make this game harder or this game is not as hard. Like it's not about the difficulty. Um, and honestly, I look at the souls games and say, there's some classic games that are, I think are harder. I think are considerably harder, like ghosts and goblins and others that I think are considerably harder than, than demon souls, uh, and dark souls. Um, which by the way, I, I think it's funny that, uh, that we have the pact on, um, on bloodborne because that's my least favorite possibly my least favorite in regards to gameplay it's definitely one of my favorites when it comes to the 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 uh the world and the setting but the gameplay is one of my least favorite i think that it's i think it's because of the way that the um that guns are implemented in the game um maybe that, that's that's just me but yeah, yeah. not not really because my... i i know that elden ring coming up they said is as difficult as dark souls 3 which i don't get the comparison i assume dark souls 3 is hard it's, it's um, they're all hard yeah. from what i'm sure but it, that he said that they are trying to make it not necessarily more accessible but they are adding more character type builds to to yeah. kind of 
deal with that. So maybe that just means maybe there's more options for you to find what you like. Yeah. That's what I get out of that. What, but yeah, that that's the thing is everybody just wants to place this thing on these developers and most of these developers like we just want you to play our game dude yeah. we, like we made that we made the game we made it how we made it you play it yeah or don't play it well i we don't care well, i mean we care because we want your money but we it the, i just feel like i don't know the toxicity of of gamers tm on the internet and yeah. this is like a a thing that no, virtually nobody's going to hear about and i only do because i i get involved in the conversation it's just if somebody wants to make it yeah do what you want if somebody wants to make their game accessible awesome i will applaud them for it if they don't want to make their game accessible that's their decision yeah yeah i agree and and like you said there's a lot of games out there there are there are a ton of games that that i i've seen in passing and i just went meh or just really didn't like completely turn me off but you know what that's okay because i got other games that i'm really liking i'm not going to go make fun of that game like constantly, like I could, but I'm not that energy. I don't, I'm not about that energy, really. It's not. It's not worth it. Yeah, I, I'll just give my own like small example. The Witness is a is a puzzle game that may, people may remember. I think from like 2016, yeah. and I messaged the developer of that game because there are color coded puzzles in that game, and I am colorblind. For people who don't know, I have uh, trouble with specific colors uh, when they blend together. And I asked the dev, I was like, "Are you going to add any mode for that?" And they said no. But we made it to where those aren't necessary to complete the game, and that was their own version. So they're like, "Those color puzzles exist, but you can skip them." Yeah. Uh, and you know that was that give and take. I didn't end up playing the game because I saw the puzzles, and but. This was from me seeing the trailers, and I got a response yeah. from this from this indie developer saying, "No, we're not going to do that, but you don't have to do it to win." Yeah, and, and I, this, I respect that. That's, yeah. it's your decision if you don't want to fix it. I just asked. Also, a smaller developer they they may not have the resources and time to like go into to to develop these things. It's not that they didn't think about it, but you know that's that's a lot of additional time to to make sure your game works for every scenario as much as we want them to uh but yeah it's it's the if the, the person made the game it's me it's part of it's like it's freedom of speech expression it's art um and achievements i, I mean i don't care if you give them out for like candy in a game i i really don't care there was a game that gave you like a thousand i think that got pulled because it gave you a thousand in like 20 minutes or something uh, or whatever it was on, on Xbox, yeah. but like I at the same time I don't care if you're gonna do if you're gonna grab easy games to get your gamer score up or to get those trophies. Like, go grab the easy games if that's what your life is about. My life is not about grabbing the easiest games and platinum them. I want that to mean something. If I platinum the game, I must have enjoyed it enough to go that deep. That's what that's for. Um, so if, if 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 you don't if you don't care about the game that much, don't platinum it. That's yeah. Anyways, let us know what you think about those about those uh, those things. Uh, are you sad we didn't talk about Netflix for gaming? Because uh, Netflix did say that uh, they're going to do. They are into gaming. They're not going to charge extra for it. We'll keep you posted on what happens on that, and if it's going to be another Stadia, uh, do you think they'll be able to? Can we will probably with, try it because we're suckers. <laughs> we'll probably try it hey, if it's free. Yeah, uh, we'll see how that that is. We'll keep you posted on that. All the other types of gaming news and all kinds of nerd stuff, and we'll see you next week.